Hi everyone, welcome to the ICM student portal. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to access important resources so you can easily find them later on. If this is your first time accessing the portal, go ahead and type in your ICM student ID under username and your date of birth as your month date as your password. Then click sign in. Once you click sign in, you'll be prompted to create a new password. And once you do that, click save and you can use your new password to sign in from here on. After logging in, you will be directed to the home page. On top of the page, we have news of the week. Here we post weekly updates, events, or webinars happening throughout the week. Check it daily, see what's going on. Follow us on Instagram at IC Manitoba. If you keep scrolling, the next thing you'll see is online advising. So if you want to talk about course planning, GPA, etc., check these time slots daily and click one of the three links to set your appointment with an advisor over Zoom. Then we have the front desk chat. Click on this link right here between 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. during weekdays and talk with our front desk staff. If you're not sure about how to enroll for summer 2020 courses, scroll through this resource and learn more about online enrollment. If you keep scrolling, we have an infograph on how to access important ICM services. Have a read through if you want to access finance or admissions. Next thing is Zoom. If you need help accessing Zoom links, take a look at this video and learn more about Zoom. Let's scroll back up. Then we have the timetable tab. Once your semester starts, this is where you'll be able to view your class details. Next, we have the account tab. Here you can change your password, set your social insurance number, and change your address. Next, we have student resources. It's one of the most important pages, and I'm gonna cover the sections you might frequently use. First, we have the tax form. You can only generate the tax form for completed UTP2 courses and not UTP1. Before generating your form, remember to enter your social insurance number correctly and then select your school year. Once you've done that, click generate form. Then we have forms. Here, you can find all the document application forms you might be looking for. They could be exam deferral forms, document requests, VW, course overload, withdrawal, etc. Now, when you click on an application form, it should direct you to an online application. If you find that you can't access this page, you might be logged into your personal Gmail account. So follow these steps. So first log out of the ICM student portal. In a new window, open gmail.com and make sure you've signed out of your personal Gmail account. Then log back into the ICM student portal and try again. It should work out for you. Then we have documents. Here you'll be able to access important academic resources, program planning guides, academic midterm and final schedule, appeals, bursary forms, etc. Simply expand each tab like this and view what you need. Next, we have the student profile. This directs you to your own profile where you'll be able to view general contact information, attendance records, results, account, and timetable. Clicking on accounts will show you the balance that you owe. Any amount indicates that this is the amount you need to pay ICM. However, if the amount you see is negative, it indicates that this is the balance you already have paid ICM. So keep that in mind. Next, we have the fee calculator. If you're not sure how much your courses might cost next term, click on the fee calculator when the enrollment is on and you'll be able to select the courses that you might be enrolling into next term and it'll give you an estimate as to how much you owe. The next page we're going to cover is the ICM community page. In this page, we upload extracurricular activities such as events, workshops, student groups, health and wellness, and living in Canada. Next, we have Moodle. Clicking on it takes you to another site. In Moodle, you'll be able to view important course-related information posted by your instructors. 
such as your course syllabus, lectures, assignments, and grades. Finally, we have the ICM Services tab. In this tab, if you click on Academics, you can view resources related to academic information, such as online library resources, advising information, exam regulations. The next page we're going to talk about is the ICM Finance. When you click on this page, the first thing you'll see is the ICM Finance video tutorial. If you don't know how to make payments to your ICM account, please view this tutorial. Then we have the finance office hours posted. If you want to book an appointment with one of our finance officers, please click on this link right here. Otherwise, this page covers all information related to financial queries. Finally, we have the IT section. Here we have how to claim your Omnet ID information. This is important if you want to access the Wi-Fi that's available on the U of M campus. And this is it. This brings us to the end of the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching.